Tony Day and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on St. Catherine, a horror movie that has, well, I'll just say it, way too many elements. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 15, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. This doesn't look like a movie. It looks com completely incomprehensible. Uh, it looks like a series of, I don't know, scary scenes from like 8 to 10 different movies. Normally, like one of these scary scenes is in like one, maybe you got one or two in a movie. This one has like... 15 of them. It's called St. Catherine. No idea what this is about. Directed by Gonzalo Mello? Rafael Oliveri? Juan de Dios Cardino? Hannah Kazam, Kazim? And Michael Escobedo? Written by Gonzalo Mello. So you're telling me did Gonzalo write this thing and then it was a bunch of short movies that other guys directed? I don't know. I, why would you call it St. Catherine? And what is this? Like, there's lots of scenes like this. There's a scene of a guy stabbing himself in the neck. There's a scene of crosses turning, a, guy, a priest trying to keep something at bay with a cross. There's demons here's the guy stabbing himself in the neck there's this there's a tv scene like out of poltergeist there's religious guys from the producers of a hundred candles game comes a uh, hundred movies i mean it's like a hundred horror movie bits in one movie but i don't see how you can make any of these work together i guess it's possible it's a series of short films but even that even even for like five or six films, this looks to be a little much. And why would you call it St. Catherine? Let me see if the write-up explains anything. An orphan girl is rescued from a satanic ritual and taken to St. Catherine Institute for Homeless Youth. There she will learn new skills while facing demons that stalk her. So it is one movie. That's crazy. Because it looks like it's got about 10 different themes in it. Here's here's this dude and a demon. I mean, there's just so much going on here. It makes no sense. There's no dialogue in this thing at all. Uh, it's like, why even put this out? It, it's, like, it's like if you ask someone to have a horror trailer playing in the background of another movie you could put this on without the sound and it would kind of be like oh there's a horror movie playing behind you because no matter what scene you see in this trailer chances are it's going to be a horror scene like this or this or that or this people laughing blood demons crosses upside down and not so it's just an endless stream of this imagery. But that doesn't make for a coherent narrative. If this is about a, a girl being sent to a, a home and then being pursued by demons, uh, how about giving us a little background on something? Anything. Why is she being pursued by demons? Is it her fault? Is it the house's fault? Is it just because she's targeted for some reason? Do the are the people in the that run the home bad people or are they good people? Like, give me something. So first act, I don't know, I guess she's sent to the house because of her she's bad uh, or they perceive her as being bad or perceive her as a problematic child in the home can help her second act a uh, like a dozen different demons and possessions happen over the course of the second act leading people to kill themselves and do all sorts of horrible bloody things to each other and then eventually this priest maybe drives the demon out, although it looks like he gets it too. 
no idea. But if you like a horror movie, you know, maybe blasted through your brain at 100 miles an hour, <laughs> this might be a horror movie for you. Uh, it's not for me. I wouldn't see this. It looks too incomprehensible. I mean, you should be able to put a, a, a trailer together that at least looks coherent and not just scene after scene of horror that seems utterly disconnected from one another. So, yeah. St. Catherine. That's a name of a movie. And apparently, it's some kind of horror movie. But your guess is as good as mine. And that's it for me, Tony D. and Little Joan. Uh, check me out tomorrow at the Linwood uh, Brandywine Estates. That's in Linwood. Brandywine's Estates in Linwood. 315, I'll be doing a talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. Again, you should call if you want to go. I'm not sure they can let the public into that one. But Wednesday, I'll be in Atlantic City at the Richmond branch of the Atlantic City Public Library. And I'll be doing a talk at 5.30. And then at 9, I will be on the American Werewolf podcast. And if you click the link below to my various events, uh, you will see that I have 31 events in October. Hope to see you at one of them. We'll see you in the next one.